Hello again. <laughs> Welcome back to another night. Um, I was trying to come up with some awesome topics. Uh, gosh, and there's just so many things to talk about. Um, if you're football fans, I mean, I'm not a huge one, but I, I do like, I do enjoy a good game. Um, the Eagles won their very first uh, Super Bowl today, so congrats to the Eagles. I know I got some uh, friends, you know, like Aldo and a few other people that are super, super excited about that. So congrats. Uh, my favorite part of that is just the fact that the Patriots didn't win. Um, nothing against the, ba the Patriots as a team, but I think they've just gotten a bad taste in your mouth over the years. Kind of like Steelers, sadly, were for a few people. I'm actually, if uh, when it comes to sports, I grew up l loving the Steelers, watching the Super Bowl. Um, let's see. No, let's see if I had my terrible talent there, but I don't see it. Um, I did, for real. Uh, I, I grew up watching football, loving the Steelers by my dad. And to this day, I still love watching the Steelers. Um, living in Washington in the last few years, I've, Seahawks has definitely grown on me. Definitely fun to watch the Seahawks. Uh, I'll, I'll root for the Seahawks, but if the Steelers come in in front of them, I'm going to have to go Steelers every way. Sorry, just always will. Um, I think that's fair. Um, I thought, you know, just for a, a little snidbit, um, since, you know, uh, Eagle, and people don't realize, uh, this is Eagle's very first um, Super Bowl. They ever, they ever won. They've never won one before. So that's awesome. Congrats to you guys. Um, so another thing that happened today in history besides that, because that's something I think that's going to go down in history, their first ever Super Bowl. Um, gosh, what is this like? Um, I, I feel super dumb right now because I just looked up this year. Uh, today is actually the day George Washington was elected into the White House. So we, uh, America got its first president. So we Good job, America. We haven't entirely fucked ourselves yet, but don't worry. Don't worry. It's it's coming soon, okay? Coming soon to a world near you. The end of Earth, USA. Um, <laughs> no, so t tonight I actually want to talk about what you read in the headline or above is uh, anime. I actually want to talk about anime because, you know, I'm, talking, I'm super excited about Comic-Con coming up in a few weeks here and been wanting to talk about doing an anime skit or a video here, so... That's what tonight's about, anime. And actually, I'm going to try and tilt, tilt this camera just a little bit. Ugh, if I can get it in a little better position. There we go. So, as I said, I want to talk about anime tonight. Um, I, the reason why I'm talking about anime is actually because I actually love talking about anime, but I never get to. And the reason for that is because if you run into a hardcore anime fan and you say, Oh, I like anime, they start naming off about a thousand different animes. I sadly look at them with a blank face, like, huh? I don't know that. And uh, I, it sucks. It really does because I only have a handful of animes I've watched and that I've enjoyed. Um, so that's. I'm I'm still watching more, so hopefully I'll get to see a lot more. But yeah, it's it's hard to talk to an anime fan, a diehard anime fan, and they're like, "Well, you haven't watched anime. You don't like anime." And I'm like, "Well, I do, just because I haven't watched, you know, anime the complete fucking universe." Jesus. Um, I, I, I've grown up with stuff like, uh, I loved watching Appleseed. Um, let me see if I have anything. No, I don't. Oh, well, I thought I had some cool anime stuff over here, but I don't. Um, I actually have some anime pops, which we'll come to down there in a sec. But Appleseed, Appleseed was one of my favorite animes. I loved it. Um, really cool anime. If you, uh, a lot like Ghost in the Shell. So if you like that, stuff like that, you, you'll, you'll probably love anime. I uh, love Appleseed. Um, Ghost in the Shell was a good one. Um, Acura. I do I do own Acura. That's a pretty fun, an old classic one right there. Um, Kiki's Delivery Service. I actually owned that on VHS back in the day. Uh, I loved it, Kiki's Delivery Service. Um, I love Spirited Away. Got to watch that years ago. Loved it. Thought it was amazing. Um... My girlfriend is obsessed with My Neighbor Totoro. Uh, she made me watch it this last year. Um, I enjoyed watching it. It's just, uh, I find it extremely slow, sadly. Uh, my girlfriend says that's why she loves it so much. It's a movie you can fall asleep to. And I'm like, I don't think I'm that old yet. <laughs> um, what other stuff? Uh, I'm a big fan of Witchblade. I don't know if you guys read that or watched it. Witchblade is amazing. I I just love it, um, and not just because of all the boobs. Boobs are just a nice added material. 
Um, I really got into it. Okay, so there's a few animes, a few, that I've gotten into because of my girlfriend. Um, a long time ago, I don't know if I've talked much about it, but um, a long time ago, she got me into a show called Sword Art Online. It's become probably one of my favorite animes I've ever watched. I love it. Um, I'm kind of addicted to it. I love uh, Kirito. I actually, he's the main character, and I actually want to cosplay as him one day if I can. And actually, I'll take you, I'll take you to Kirito uh, right over here. As you can see, I actually have Kirito and Asuna, both of them, um, from Sword Art Anime Pops. So that's kind of a cool little snidbit right there. Um, so, ah, I dropped the phone. Huh? <laughs> um, I really love... Let's see if I can position the phone right here a little bit. There we go. That's a little better, right, guys? <laughs> um, Sword Art is fantastic. It's, I love the idea, the concept of being trapped in the MMO. Um, how it's a video game, but becomes real reality for them. Uh, it's awesome. And I, I really love... Uh, I'm, <sighs> so... In Sword Art, there's almost like four different seasons, kind of, technically. But they're really separated weirdly. So, the original show, Sword Art Online, is divided into two halves, kind of. Um, you have the first half, which is where they're trapped in the game, Sword Art Online. Um, it's kind of where a bunch of people get trapped into an MMO, a virtual reality game. They can't leave. If they die, they die in real life. Um, and they're actually trapped there for like two or three years until they finally get out. And then, of course, Kirito saves them all and all the fun. Well, when they wake up, not everyone wakes up. Apparently, some kids got trapped in another another MMO people didn't know about. Um, which is the second half of Sword Art Online. It's still part of the first series, but it's the second half of it. And it's um, there's a new game called Elfheim Online. It's basically a fairy world of similar to Sword Art. But it's not, it's supposed to, it's all fake. You know, it's not, you don't get trapped in it. However, Kirito is looking for Asuna because she is still in a coma. He gets, he, he finds out she is in Elfheim. So he is trying to rescue her from Elfheim because she is trapped there from uh, an evil, evil person. So uh, he goes in there to rescue her and save her and it's, uh, it's awesome. Um, Kirito and Asuna's love story is one of my favorite love stories in, a, in, in anything ever. Because Asuna is a badass. She always has been. And at times, I think she could probably kick Kirito's ass. And I just love the duo. Because Asuna, at the beginning of the show, is very quiet, very shy. And she asks to team up with Kirito. Because they, they end up pairing up for the first raid ever. And they end up turning out to be an awesome team together. Well, Kirito, because he doesn't want to get close to anyone... And he thinks it's better to be a uh, a solo player. Decides to basically turn down her offer to stay as a duo team team play. And uh, later on, in the sh as they're in this world, she becomes second in command of a of a guild called the Knights of the Blood Oath, um, which is basically essentially one of the main guilds trying to beat the game because that's how you get out of the the first game was to beat it. Um, so their love story of just back and forth is awesome because they hate each other yet they can't, they love each other and it's just it's amazing. It's a beautiful relationship. Um, then they come come out with Sword Art Online Two, which changed the game. In my opinion, I actually think the writing in Sword Art Online Two is actually one of my favorite writings and even in the series because you don't you can't really respect it until you watch it. And the reason why I say that is, uh, so in this series, it's more about a, a game called Gun Gale Online. Um, it's basically Call of Duty and stuff, but it's online, people can earn money, all that fun stuff. But, uh, apparently there is a, a, a guy in the game who is killing people in the game and somehow killing them in real life. And, you know, the government doesn't know how, so they ask Kirito to look into it just because he survived a world like that. Well, when he first comes in contact with this character, which is his name is Death Gun, he actually has a logo tattooed or stitched into his armor. 
that logo is uh, a, a guild called Laughing Coffin. Laughing Coffin is uh, a evil killer guild from Sword Art Online. So automatically he's in he's thrown into the mix. He's ready to take down Laughing Coffin. Now we get, Ashina doesn't play a fir a big role in the first half of this series in the in the Gun Guild Online too. She doesn't. She's in the background. Because uh, Kirito doesn't want to bring her in because he, he doesn't want anything to happen to her. Which is, you know, a chivalrous kind of thing to do. Uh, but it fits for the story. Why? Because we get introduced to a new character called Sinon. Sinon, in real life, is a shy, um, terrified girl uh, because of her traumatic past. Who's just afraid of guns and just has... She just can't handle any type of violence. But when she's in uh, Gun Gale Online... She's become, like, the top-ranked sniper. Somehow she can just take all that emotion and harness it in the virtual reality world. So her and Kirito end up meeting, um, kind of becoming friends, but they're kind of enemies at first because uh, she hates him. Uh, it's, it's just very, very interesting. But the thing is, when you're watching the show, my take on it is because everyone's like, oh, well, it's, you know, everyone loved... Uh, you know, sit on people, and I'll admit, I'm sorry, watching the show, there is a strong, strong connection between Sinon and Asuna. Um, and a lot of people hated that. I mean, <laughs> Sinon and Kirito. And people hated that because people were like, hey, you know, Asuna is your girl. Don't be cheating on her. And, and Kirito never does. Kirito is a, a man all the way. Loyal, and that's awesome. But, you know, I can, even I can admit that there was some kind of stuff going on there. Um... Sorry, I had someone walking in the room here. Are you trash talking Asuna? Uh, see, this is I knew this was gonna happen. She's my girlfriend loves Asuna. I love Asuna too, but she thinks I trash talk Asuna when I'm trying to talk about Sinon, which I'm not trash talking. He just ow. <laughs> he just loves Sinon. I'm not trying. Okay, no, it's just this. It's 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 great writing because Sinon. Turn it a little bit here, so she's in the picture a little bit. Sinon is really the main character of Sword Art Online 2. And people don't realize that. And here, here's the thing is, you think that the show is based off of Kirito. Why? Because in the first series, Kirito is the main hero, the main protagonist. He's there to save the day. But you, as you watch Sword Art Online 2, you kind of gradually understand he's not the main character, not even close. Sinon was the main character the whole time. They just put Kirito in there to help essentially give it that Sword Art Online name and give you a character you can relate to. And it gives Sinon a character to, to relate to. And it, and it really is just a magnificent writing because you go into the show thinking you're going to watch Kirito be a badass. And he is a badass. Don't get me wrong. He is. But if you watch it, he really is the sidekick in that show. He's just there for you to relate to Sinon. And... Th that show highlights how fantastic Sinon is, how much she overcomes, and how fan just amazing she is. Um, and then there's a, like in the first series, there's a second half to, to Sword Art Online 2. And uh, instead of doing Gun Gale, they actually bring Sinon into Elfheim World. Um, that's kind of fun, and there's little two sub-stories. There's a story where they go after a magic sword, it's Excalibur, um, and that's kind of fun. And then there's another story, which is like your favorite part of... Sword Art Online 2. It's sad. You can talk about it if you want. What? No, because I just put it very simply, and you could probably describe it way better. <laughs> There's just a really sad story about a young girl in a coma, and you know, and she will never wake up. No, she has AIDS. What? I thought she was in a coma. No, she had AIDS. Well, either way, how did she get AIDS? I don't know. How do you so get AIDS? So she's a whore. She's like twelve or like. Jesus, she really started young. Low. I mean, <laughs> see how but, he just twists my favorite things, and then you go into like, oh, Asuna is such a badass character, and like the reason. Why, okay, the reason one, why she's then, so pissed about this is, I, honestly, in my opinion, Sword Art Online Two Asuna sucks, and the reason because of it is they made her such an amazing character in Sword Art Online like Series One. Uh, even when she was the damsel in distress in that series, she was never a damsel. She always found a way to fight back, and she was a badass. In Sword Art Online 2, 
not only is she background noise, but the highlight how great Sinon is, she's just a, no! a photo on the wall. No! That's what she is. She is just there to say, hi, no! I'm Asuna. Okay, and with all the things they went through and the fact that she's like, I don't really, I like, I don't want to fight. I don't want to be like in the front lines because that's what I had to do to survive. She becomes a healer in, in Elfheim and just sits in the background. And she was like legitimately okay. their best fighter. Okay, but you got to understand that she went through a lot in the first season and like she just wants to like chillax. She wants to is chillax. That your, is that your term for her? The Asuna's just chillaxing in the background. Is she chillaxing into the wallpaper like I said in the background? Oh my god. You guys go ahead. I know I was your best fighter, but I'm just not going to do anything. I'm not going to have any actual important roles okay, in this series. Okay, she was um, the other series I was going to talk about that she got me into is this one right over here. Seraph of the End. As you've got a couple of those Seraph of the End pops, which is awesome there. Mo half of those, actually not half, most of the, all of those, but like one is hers. Um, I plan on buying some of my own, but those are all hers. Well, yeah, because you have, we have two Shinoas because you technically, that's the only one you have. I know, but I want to get this one too, the Demon Eurychio, okay, which I still call Seraph. Okay, but it's here. It's in front of your face. Why do you want to go buy another one? Because when I divorce you in a few years, I oh want to make goodness. sure I have my... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, don't run away. What? No, keep, keep going. Okay. You, <laughs> you have feelings? <laughs> She's she ran away. Um, Seraph of the Ends is a pretty awesome one. It's funny as okay. Be fair on that one though. I actually wanted to watch that before, and she was like, "Hey, you should watch Seraph." And I was like, "Okay, I'll watch it." Pretty cool. I'm a big vampire fan, as you saw in earlier blogs. Um, so it's all about vampires and other monsters. So and then demons and stuff. Uh, it's pretty fun. Um, if you like that kind of stuff, a post apocalyptic. It's kind of like in a weird world where. Uh, a large portion of the human race was wiped out, and it was technically wiped out by vampires and demons. But uh, it's a pretty fun one. Uh, I do recommend it if you get a chance. Um, some other ones I like watching. Uh, I love the show Claymore. Uh, Claymore's pretty bloody, but just an amazing show. Um, I've been watching on Netflix uh, Garin Logon. Uh, I haven't finished it yet, but I love it. I'm a big mech suit kind of guy, so... It's kind of fun because it's kind of like mech suits and stuff. Unrealistic mech, mech suits, but it's still fun. Um, I loved watching, uh, also on Netflix, uh, Seven Deadly Sins. That's a fun one. Um, I haven't watched season two yet because I've been waiting on her ass. Um, I want, we started, I've already seen all of season one. But I was showing her season one and we made it about halfway through and then she stopped watching it. So I needed her to help finish season one so I can start back in the season two because I want to watch it. Um, I also watched on Netflix, which is not a Netflix original, but I still loved it. It was a great movie, Expelled from Paradise. Um, that one's an awesome one. It's kind of weird. It's like in the future where, uh, basically the rich and elegant, um, transcended bodies and downloaded their memories into a collective, essentially a floating computer in, in, in space, a giant space satellite computer. So and and so everyone's been digitalized, and so being digitalized, you can live the perfect life and whatever, all the fun stuff and digital whatever. Um, but there's still people on Earth. It's just um, the poor people and whatever that kind of shit. But uh, while up there, there's a someone hacking into their satellite, so they need to find out who. So they send down uh, the, one of their best fighters down to the planet to try and track down. Uh, this hacker and it's a pretty fun one of course she comes flying down in what a giant fucking mech suit and what does the ending battle have mech suit battle and i love mech suits so it's awesome um it it's and it's okay she is a cool tight sexy looking blonde that just helps go with the storyline too but it's a fun one yeah it's funny it's definitely interesting um it's one i would definitely give a give a shot i like her sidekick buddy in it he reminds me a lot of mccree from uh, Overwatch, so that's kind of funny. Um, def definitely an awesome one to watch. Um, anime, anime. What other animes? I know I'm forgetting some. <laughs> um, she's a huge Naruto fan. 
I never got into Naruto. I sadly missed that whole generation. I don't know if I'll ever really get into it. I know she wants me to get into it. We'll see what happens. But she's a diehard Naruto fan. Um, what else? I know. See, I haven't seen One Piece. I haven't seen Bleach. I haven't seen Fairy Tail. Um, I haven't seen you know Blue Exorcist or Black Butler or any of that stuff. Um, okay, I tried watching Death Note. And I can't get into the anime. I'm sorry. No offense to you people. But I can't understand why you people love that. The writing doesn't make any sense. And I, I've been told that the book is a little better. But the the show, the, the anime doesn't make any sense. I actually was a fan of the Netflix movie. I know. People say I'm stupid. But the movie made a lot of sense. Where people are like, well, that's the whole point. It's not supposed to make sense. He's supposed to be crazy. But how does he just flip the switch? Okay? In Death Note, you're talking about a kid who, in, in, the, in the anime, straight A student, gets perfect grades across the board. A, everybody loves him. He's not even a nerd. Like, the school fucking loves him. The teachers think he's the greatest thing since ever. Uh, every kid in school is like, oh, we love you. Every girl in school wants to be with him. Like, he literally has the perfect life. His mom and dad love the shit out of him. His sister thinks he's the coolest thing ever. Like, he has the perfect life. Everything. Randomly, this book that is uh, a death note to a death god falls into his life. And, you know, he... Figures out pretty quickly that when you write a person's name in the book, you they kill him. In the anime, it takes about three or four days before the death god reveals himself to the kid. This kid, I keep calling him kid, but he was like six, sixteen or eighteen in the in the book, or in the anime. But uh, in three days in the anime, he's already killed like three hundred, almost hundred people. He just wrote down a fuck ton of names, like people he thinks deserve to die. You know, uh, basically criminals have gotten away or people just crime lords. Like he just killed a bunch of people. And he's like, okay, let's keep doing it. Let's kill people. Because he thinks he wants to play God. And he thinks that's the best way to do is to play God, kill these wrongdoing, and whatever. Like start a whole new world order revolution. Like, what the fuck? What kid thinks that's the... I wasn't popular and I, just because I got it. And he even uses the book to take out his high school. Because uh, apparently, like, it's not even that he had a high school bully. He just noticed there was bullies at the high school. High school, And he thought, let's kill them. Let's just completely kill them. And that's what he does. He just murders them. All of them. And it's so lame. So lame. And, it's, and, and not only is it lame, but it's just, it's crazy. And we were like, well, that makes sense because he's crazy. I'm like, no. How does someone flip the switch like that? You just don't. In the movie, it actually made more sense. And yes, I also love them because it takes place in Seattle. Hello, Seattle's awesome, people. But yeah, the fact that they are able... It, it just... It, it made way more sense in the movie than it does in the show, guys. In the movie, um, yes, he's a straight-A student. But he's a nerd. People pick on him, bully him. Uh, people think he's a freak. Um, his mother was violently murdered, uh, you know, less than a year ago. And his dad, who's a police, who's a cop, who's a detective, couldn't really uh, put the guy behind bars who did it. The guy got got off on it. And so there's, and he's an only child, so it's a hard thing to live with. So he's already a bit fucked up. And he, and, he, and how he uses it is he, of course, right away, the first person he practically goes after is the guy, the murderer of his, of his mother. And, you know, that makes sense. Um, and, it, yeah, he kills the school bully on accident, not knowing what it's going to do. And he fr and when he first sees it, he freaks out. Like, he throws up. He's like, oh, my God. Like, it's not normal for him. So, yeah, he starts, yeah, and he ends up using it to become this political clout, like, in the anime. But it's not, like, immediately. It's something that he has to start figuring out and learning. And he, it, it's just different. So in the in the in the in the Netflix movie, I just gotta say Netflix. I think you did a good job. Thank you. I'm sorry. I know I'm gonna get blasphemy from you anime people, but I just I'm sorry. I just don't get it. Um, there's so many animes that I want to watch. So many other ones I need to learn to get into. Um, I know there's more I'm not thinking of right now. Uh, however, tonight uh, we're gonna. I've already gone longer than I normally than I want to. Um, I will.
Think of some cool, I'll write down some cool topics and we'll talk about some fun stuff tomorrow. I don't know what, but we'll have some fun tomorrow, okay? Um, who knows, actually the camera should come in tomorrow, so maybe I'll get to have some fun with that. Um, <laughs> but either way, um, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked, uh, watching my video, please subscribe, please share me, please help me get out there on the net. Um, I'm gonna talk about all kinds of fun stuff, talk about more Funko, can talk more about, um... Other big celebrities, Power Rangers, vampires, music, cars, um, sports, political shit. Whatever we want to talk about, we can always do. I love doing it. So thank you for watching. Subscribe and have a great night, guys. And as always, stay classy, okay?